we have barely any, any competitors with this machine. It, again, it has to be a linear motor machine to even be in the same category as us. Welcome back to MTD CNC. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm excited because I'm at Sodic today with my buddy Tom, and we're going to talk about three axis machining. Now, we know Sodic for quality everywhere we go, right? Precision, accuracy, but we also know them for EDM. So we're gonna talk about three axis machining today and expand on some of the incredible products that Sodic has to offer. Tom, how are we, my friend? I'm doing great, how about you, Tony? Living a dream. When we talk about three axis milling on this Sodic machine, mm -hmm. we want to focus on precision, don't we? Would you mind sharing with the audience how we reach such high precision and tolerances? Well, really, on these machines, it, uh, it starts with the linear motors on these machines. Uh, you cannot achieve the same uh, accuracy and surface finish uh, without the linear motors on these machines. And I'm talking about year after year after year with the exact same linear motors, never having to replace any parts on them. Uh, that combined with the 40,000 RPM, that's our minimum RPM, uh, it, and then the motion controller on the machine as well. It, it all just comes together and just makes beautiful parts that way. So between linear, high RPM, and the interface that's behind us, this is what's giving you that ultimate, ultimate precision that's almost untouchable anywhere else I look. That's correct, yes. yes. I, I, we have barely any, any competitors with this machine. It, again, it has to be a linear motor machine to even be in the same category as us. So yeah. when we're talking about this as well, because I don't want to misconstrue any information, mm -hmm. we are cutting light and fast, looking for those mirror finishes, right. oftentimes in hard materials, but it's all about that light and fast, that's right? That's right, that's right, yes. Uh, light, fast, that's high-speed milling. You know, we don't have to take any heavy cuts. We don't even want to take heavy cuts with these machines. We start wearing out spindles that way. So instead, the whole concept is to uh, light and fast machining. Speaking of wearing out spindles, Tom, well done bringing that up. We've talked about the importance of not just redlining your main spindle all the time. Right. You guys have the ability to have extra coolers and some partners to keep from that maybe that thermal expansion we talk about, from overrunning a spindle and breaking right. it down. Right. There are multiple components to allow you to keep running that tool all day and all night if necessary right. when it comes to this accuracy. That's correct, yes. We have a second chiller on here that's dedicated to just the spindle to um, help, help to keep the, the thermal growth uh, being very stable. It's that there is no thermal growth. Once it expands to its maximum, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't it, grow or, or shrink from that at all, so, yeah. When we think about Micron, now Tom, you and I know, and I'm sure there's millions of people out there that know how small a Micron is, is as well, but there's a lot of people that don't. And when we think about a Micron, we think about, ah, well my hair is real small, you know, that's a lot bigger than a Micron, right? right? right. And yes. when we think about what can change the distance of a one Micron, to a three micron, to a five micron, can sometimes be just the temperature in the room. So the ability to be able to keep this stable and so, so accurate, that's an accomplishment in itself. Yes it is, yes it is. It, um, just just the, the accuracy of this machine here is uh, plus or minus one micron on the machine, so uh, that's gonna be accuracy and repeatability on the machine. Yes. Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. So. We've now definitely focused, we've done our job conveying that message for sure about how accurate, I mean, yeah. plus or minus one micron, are you kidding me? That's incredible. Yes. Where as an end user or a possible end user would I want to apply a machine like this? Are there specific industries, are there specific products? Where would be I best be supported and go, you know, I got to give those guys at Sodic a call? Well, we, we a lot of our customers are uh, dye mold industry, but we're also, even more than that now, everything's getting small, so we're in a micro machining. These are the machines for this, for this micro machining. When you start talking about very tiny end mills, we're talking about you know, 2,000 diameter end mills, even smaller than that. Uh, you have to have the accuracy of these machines, otherwise those, those end mills, they don't survive. You know, any kind of overshoot, any kind of backlash, they don't survive, they just break. So these machines are, are what is necessary for that then. Spot on, my friend, and I have had the great pleasure or displeasure, depending on how you look at it, to machine with 2,000s in diameter tooling. Have you had that pleasure? No, good, yes, good times, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Good, <laughs> good times in quotation marks. It's, it's actually really exciting to see something like that succeed. Yes. You know, and knowing that they, with the confidence that you can have with this machine to be able to do that kind of machining. I couldn't agree more with that part of the statement. And then, and we'll get a little off topic now, but I like this story is, 
when we see it in the faces of other people as well, when mm -hmm. they didn't think that that could be done, and then they have something like this machine, they right. go, you know how slow I was pecking to drill a hole in 2000s and something like titanium right. or steel? Because right. I didn't think it was possible. Later they find out something like this, far more valuable, cycle time's far more reduced, and everything's paying for itself much, much quicker. Right, right, yeah. Um, so now also where this machine is very good is uh, if you combine this machine for making, say, our electrodes with this machine to our sinkers then as well. So you're going to have the repeatability from every single electrode being identical in size. So therefore, you're, you're going to have great, great electrodes as well. So we can, we can hard mill very accurately, but we can also do graphite machining very accurately with these machines. Well, Tom, thank you so much for helping the audience at MTD and your own audience learn more about the accuracy, precision, and speed of the Sodic machine. You are incredible, and I look forward to doing more work with you. Thank you very much, Tony. I appreciate you coming out and, and showing our machines. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.